I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to do a kitchen basic and show you how you can make easy cream of mushroom soup from scratch. This recipe has so many applications it isn't even funny. We use it in tuna casserole. We use it as a meatloaf gravy. We use it in green bean casserole at Thanksgiving time and a hundred different other things and I'm going to show you how you can make this without reaching for that can. That way you know exactly what's in it, you know exactly what you're feeding your family, and it's 100% more wholesome, and it's 100% more delicious. So let's go and see how we're going to make this. Alright, what you're going to need to make this mushroom soup, and this is a great base for a lot of different casseroles and other dishes, is I have 8 to 12 ounces of sliced mushrooms. You can buy whole ones, you can buy, you know, sliced ones, it doesn't matter, but I went ahead for convenience because Thanksgiving is a busy day and the more work that we can get done ahead of time, the better. So buy them already sliced. So this is an 8 ounce tub of sliced uh, button mushrooms. You can use cremini, you can use whatever you like. We're also going to use a cup of half and half, a cup of chicken stock, two tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and about a clove of minced garlic. So we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to start assembling our cream of mushroom soup. Okay, first thing you're going to do is melt your butter. Get it in there. I have this over medium heat. And that's pretty much where you're going to want to keep it the entire time you're making the dish. Well, the soup, I should say. Now, this soup you can eat as is after you've done preparing it, or you can use it in a casserole. In my case, I'm making this to put in a green bean casserole. And this is delicious. It's easy to make. You can do this very quickly, and you don't need to pop open a can of preservatives to make it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to toss in our mushrooms, and we're going to get those in there along with our salt. You want to put the salt in with the mushrooms so then the mushrooms will start to sweat and release some of their liquid. Now we're going to wait. We're going to let these saute in the butter until they are pretty much um, all the way done and they have released all of their liquid. So that's going to take a few minutes and when that's ready we'll be back. Okay, our mushrooms are done, and the next thing which I forgot to mention is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So this is a roux, essentially. So we've got two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, and you're going to want to get this in here, and it's going to look really ugly. You're going to want to cook this for about a minute, and you're going to want this to get really dried out and crummy looking. It's going to really horrify you, but that's exactly how you want it to look, okay? Don't worry about it. It's going to, you want to dry it out and you want to get that, that floury taste cooked out of this. Otherwise, it's going to, you're still going to be able to taste it. Your soup is going to taste pasty. So, when I no longer see, like you see there's a little white spot there, you want to keep that moving. And it looks okay. This is looking good. Okay, now we move on to the next portion. We're going to add a cup of chicken stock. Leave the pan on the same heat setting. Okay. Give this a little time to cook. It's going to pull up all of that goodness from the bottom of the pan. All of that flour is going to start to hydrate and swell in this chicken broth, chicken stock. Um, this is my home canned chicken stock. so. You use what you have available to you. Um, I prefer a, a boxed stock if I'm going to buy it, um, if I don't have my own. You can see how velvety this is looking right now, and that's exactly how you want it to look. Now we're going to move on and we're going to add that one cup half and half. Just like that. And you don't have to worry about that curdling because it's not going to. There's enough fat in there that it won't curdle. And just keep stirring it. And we're going to add our pepper. And I forgot to add my garlic, but I'm going to go ahead and add it now. It's all good. You can throw that garlic in when you're sauteing the mushrooms, but not too soon because you don't want that to burn. 
but it's all good. It's going to cook up just fine. There's not, and there's not that much of, of that. The only other thing I'm going to add is a little bit of nutmeg. And I have a lot of people who go, oh my goodness, I can't believe you put nutmeg in your cream sauce because they never heard of such a thing. All good cream sauces or cream based recipes benefit from a little sprinkling of nutmeg, which isn't necessarily a sweet spice, although we associate it with the warm spices of gingerbread cookies and things like that. But to be honest with you, nutmeg benefits a cream sauce in an amazing fashion. So you should consider throwing it in there. Nutmeg has a very peppery back taste. So um, it's always good to throw some in a savory cream sauce. I'm gonna come in here with my whisk because I see, um, I used my Gosner milk, my shelf stable milk in here. So that sometimes tends to be um, sometimes can have little curds in it, but it's all good. But you can see, this is what mushroom soup looks like. This is what fresh mushroom soup looks like. It sure does have recognizable pieces of mushroom in it, not the one out of the can has little tiny chunks of what they're calling mushroom, but do we really know what that is? So you're just gonna wanna wait for this to heat up and, and thicken, and I think we're almost there. The way you know that your cream soup is about ready to serve and use, you're gonna see the back of your spoon. If you run your finger through that and it doesn't run together, it's ready. So there you have it, wonderful, freshly made, cream of mushroom soup that you can either eat as is with some crusty bread and a salad or you can use it in your casseroles, in your green bean casserole, in your tuna noodle casserole or just in, you know throw some pan seared chicken breasts in here right now and let them simmer for about 20 minutes and you're going to have a delicious main course ready to go. So. I hope that you try this easy, quick mushroom soup recipe, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.